How call out? My name is Henry Redcloud. I live here on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, home of the Oglala Lakota. We're a manufacturing facility as well as renewable energy training facility. We manufacture solar, you know, technology and teach the technology here as well. We've been doing since 2004 when we opened the doors to Lakota Solar and then we opened the doors 2006 to Red Cloud Renewable Energy Center. Two different businesses, one's the manufacturing installation, the Lakota Solar, and the training center, Red Cloud Renewable Energy Center, is a training facility where Native students come to get the technical support that's much needed out there and to create a better living standards in all aspects, uh, job creation, economy, as well as, you know, protecting and embracing Mother Earth with all the natural elements, the sun, the wind, all of these here gifts from the Great Spirit. We train in PV systems, small wind, building of houses, recycling, weatherization, energy audits, uh, geothermal. We turn all of these into instructional and invite tribes to come out to learn these here, you know, technologies. And uh, giving them the direction, the guidance, the understanding on creating small economic development and help them to recreate what we're doing here. It may be a training facility, a manufacturing facility. Through the Great Northern Plain Tribes, we had over 182 students come through our program to get certified in different areas. And then upon returning back to their nations, being able to work, have a job, as well as installing for their you know, community, their tribe. We found that, that there's very much interest in all of this here, you know, technology through tribes. So we went and were expanding and building a larger classroom dormitory uh, training facility. We manufactured over 1,400 air heating system here. Our passive solar heating systems it's very easy, thermostatically controlled, uh, basically took the 1970s concept of air heating and came up with the super hot box, which helps, you know, people save uh, 20 to 30 percent on their heating cost here in the northern plains. I depend on this a lot during the winter time because it does have clean air. I save a lot of electricity because I don't use electric heaters. I use a wood stove, but I save wood too because this is this is what takes this is what my heat comes off of basic mostly and I so I can save wood and electricity at the, at the same time which I don't use electricity to heat my house I depend on this only and then some some real cold days maybe I'll start the wood stove like early in the mornings and then it gradually comes down and I don't have to put that much wood in the stove because the heat comes off of this solar panel here it works really good during the winter time when I really need it and keeps my electricity bill down. <laughs> so it's a lot of help to me. That's why we do home built systems and we make it more affordable. We look at housing need. There's so much of a housing need throughout First Nation communities throughout the America here. I worked off of the res for many years and found different methods, different technologies, different building types. I'm a construction background, so architect's really interesting to me. And doing that and then arriving home here in high hopes of finding work, I decided to stay and uh, found that I could create economic development as well as homes for the Lakota people, Nakota, Dakota. We're working with the Great Northern Plains First Nations communities, bringing 
jobs, much needed jobs, as well as uh, savings overall for grandma, auntie, the whole family. I believe that uh, that's what one put me on this, to creating a better quality of life for First Nation you know, communities and uh, inspiration, hope, dreams, everything follows that. So with, with the gifts that we have, we can utilize and we can become the people that our ancestors were. Once again, become in total you know, balance with the universe. And uh, this is just one of the ways. Um, so when you're out there doing something, as an individual, you want to keep in mind that you want to be that change that needs to happen. And you be that change. And things are going to start to happen. Uh, things, wonderful things will start to happen. So with that, uh, thank you. Washte pilama ya.